Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear students, I hope you are fine. Unit 4, Grade 9, Lesson 5, Students Book, page 38 and 39. Opener. Let's play a game. Open your envelope and see what's inside it. Answer the question. What does fusion mean? When two or more things join or are combined. Say the word peninsula five times. Say now peninsula, 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 peninsula. Give a word which means habitat, homeland. Mind the word major main major means main now my dear students let's open our students book page 38 writing discuss the following Why do people travel? Why do people prefer to travel to certain countries rather than others? Which country would you like to visit again? Why? Let's discuss the following. Read your answers, then discuss. Why do people travel? People travel to have fun and enjoy their holidays, to explore new places. People travel to learn about other cultures. There are more reasons for people to travel, but the most famous reasons that they have fun and enjoy their holidays. Number two, why do people prefer to travel to certain countries rather than others? They may prefer these countries for their nice weather, the amazing nature, ease of travel and movement. Number three, which country would you like to visit again? Why? I would like to visit Turkey because it's very beautiful country and it has many wonderful places to visit. Now, my dear students, you should choose a country you would like to visit in your summer holiday. Mention why do you like to visit this country? What are the reasons that make you like to visit this country. We have a diagram below in our students book. Write information and descriptions about the country and state the reasons for choosing this country to persuade your friend to visit the country with you. Write the name of the country you would like to visit. Say information and descriptions about this country. The reasons for choosing this country. Why do you like to visit it? Now, write information and descriptions about the country you would like to visit. Mention the reasons for choosing this country. After writing Read your diagrams about 
a country you would like to visit. Students book page 39. Exercise 3. Use your information in the diagram to write an email of two paragraphs to your friend. Copy the email below in your notebook. How to write the email? We should write our friend's email. We should write a meaningful subject line. After that, start your email with a salutation followed by your friend's name. Start with a greeting. Ask how they are doing. Don't forget to make format to the email. Choose your font you would like. Set the font size. Choose the text color. If you need any attachment, if you need to add any emojis. At the end of your email, you should end your email with yours sincerely, yours faithfully, best wishes, or take care. Now your turn to write. Dear students, Remember, reread your email before sending it. Punctuate your sentences correctly. Don't repeat the same words. Include enough information to complete the task. Closure. Take time and plan your holiday. Where do you like to go? With whom do you like to be? Which type of holiday do you prefer? Now, my dear students, let's move to workbook page. 16 exercise number five exercise number five complete the story use the past symbol or the past continuous look at this exercise carefully read the story and try to correct the verbs between brackets to complete the story correctly. Now let's check our answers. The day I met my best friend, it was the first day of my new secondary school. I was walking to school on my own, I remember. I was thinking about the new teachers and the students I would meet when suddenly I saw someone across the road. She was waving at me. I stopped to talk to her. She said, I live in your street. I talked to your mother and she told me you started at the school today. I came I came to the school last year. Would you like me to show you around? And we have been best friends since that day. Now with the homework. Write three sentences about a tourist site you would like to visit anywhere in the world. Here you should choose a tourist site you would like to visit and write three sentences only 
about it and check your answers. Thank you, my dear students, for listening. I hope you to enjoy a nice time. Goodbye.